and rescue squads are scrambling to find ways to pay for gas so they can respond to your emergency. Erica Lensford shows us what some are putting on hold in order to make ends meet. We haven't cut back any kind of services, but just being very conscious. With the priority of saving lives on their minds, first responders are also thinking on how to save money. Our current fuel bill for the first three months is $8,200. It was $4,700 last year this time. Chief John Linson Bigler with the Seymour Volunteer Fire Department says serving as a nonprofit and with the rising cost of fuel, they're having to shovel things around to make sure they have enough to fuel up their fleet and to avoid the worst from happening. Well, I guess the worst scenario would just be to limit limit response. I know that in our organization, it's been around for 50 years. I would say about 30 years ago, there was a need, so they had to take out a couple loans to be able to cover to keep the lights on, different things like that. Not working as a nonprofit, but as a private organization, Jeff Bagwell with Rural Metro Fire says they are also having to deal with the same impact of diesel prices. Each fire truck takes about 50, 50 to 60 gallons of fuel, and uh, they get fuel every day. Um, so this truck probably holds 50 gallons. So 50 times $5 a gallon, if it's completely empty, I mean, you're looking at a couple hundred dollars every day. Now we have about 23, uh, 18 stations. So it gets pretty costly in a hurry. Chief Linson Bigler says, unlike how other businesses have been able to increase the price of their services to better adjust, the fire department runs on donations from the community to help them help others. We're an agent with uh, Sevier County United Way, um, one of their designated agencies and people who make direct payroll deposits or payroll deductions from their employer, um, they can designate us through any of their United Ways. You know, Amazon Smiles, Kroger Rewards, I mean, there's all those little things. We may not be able to buy as much, many new tools. We may have to make the older ones last longer. Uh, things like that may have to take place uh, for us to keep the budget balanced throughout the course of the year. Erica Lunsford, WVLT News. The fire departments that we talked to today, some say they're holding off on getting new gear and equipment, even canceling garbage services, taking the department's trash to the dump themselves, all to save money. Well,